it's Dan, two Mac Warriors, and welcome back to another episode of Urban Warfare. As we get into the campaigns of the Casper Kaisha, and last time we took on Yang's biggest score yet and managed to get ourselves a brand new Catapult C4, which is a pretty interesting design. I haven't actually had a chance to use it just yet, but, well, it's a decent enough backup, you know, with all of its LRMs. So, yeah, I've basically kept it as is, and it'll be a rotation if we end up running out of other, frankly, more customized, better mechs. But today we come to you from the planet of Nondiz with a brand new contract. House Davian requests your assistance in transportation and custodial exchange of a high profile prisoner. Payment will be remitted when the asset is in our hands. So let us begin the opportunist. High orbit, Nondiz. Commander, I'm pleased you finally made it. I have a job for you. What can we do for you, Lady Cunningham? The local constabulary of this charming little world is holding a woman named Aisha Hadley. I want to bring Miss Hadley, alias Atepa Sweeney, alias the Fox of New Avalon, into my custody. Miss Hadley stands accused of a number of high-profile robberies, including the brazen theft of the royal family's pleasure yacht. It's absolutely vital that she be returned to New Avalon for interrogation. The Fox of New Avalon, huh? That's funny. I thought the fox was House Dan was Hans Davian's nickname. It is his nickname. Hadley stole it from him, just like she stole the damned yacht. Wow! I'll bet the first prince was righteously pissed. You have no idea. The Nondiz Constabulary has already bundled Miss Hadley onto a prison transport. I need you to get that transport to a waiting dropship for extraction. Sounds simple enough. Is there anything else we need to know? Expect a long and hazardous road ahead of you. The Nondis Badlands are rife with banditry and a transport, even a prison transport, could make for an enticing target. You'll find an armoured repair bay at the midpoint of your journey. I recommend you make use of it. We can do that, Lady Cunningham. Good. Oh, and Commander, a word of advice. If Miss Hadley attempts to speak to you, don't listen to her. She's a manipulative and dangerous woman, and she'll trick you into dooming yourself if you let her. Understood, Lady Cunningham. Don't worry. We'll get you and your captive in one piece. Alrighty, so apparently we are going to be doing prisoner transport, which I suppose is one of the many jobs that the Casper Kaisha can provide for you if you have certain services required. Not only do we steal mechs right underneath Seabill millionaires and billionaires, we also work for the good guys. So let us negotiate. I would like all the stuff. It's a three and a half scale mission, so all the stuff would be quite useful, I believe. And also, you know, angering the pirates isn't exactly something I care about. So, uh, Casper, while being totally healthy, is, well, she's a second liner at this point. Not having bulwark is just going to keep her off the field, but Reach is once again going to stick to his Atlas. He's piloting ten, a gutter of nine, a guts of nine, and tactics of nine. He is rife, and I very much hope that I can get him to a quad 10, although that could be a little bit difficult. We have range wall in the long range Highlander, readout in the super catapult, by which I mean the stalker, and I kind of want to keep the cataphract, because the cataphract has proven to be quite useful. I've done a couple of sort of like interim missions in order to gain some cash and that sort of thing, and this cataphract has done a fairly reliable job, even though it's not quite the 75 ton, say, Black Knight or Orion. Oh, I'm thinking about it, but you know what? Nope, we're going to keep the cataract, because the cataract's a lot of fun. Anyway, let us deploy. We're going to the desert, which is going to be a little bit difficult on the Stalker, a little less so on the Cataphract. The Cataphract has better heat control over the Orion, so it can keep shooting more often, because the Orion has an AC-20 plus two large lasers, whereas our Cataphract has four medium lasers and an AC-20. It's a little bit of six in one, half dozen in the other, but the heat on the on the Cataphract is a little bit better because of the tonnage also put in heat sinks. But anyway, the opportunist... Miss Hadley's prison transport is waiting for you on the planet's surface, Commander. You will meet it with it you will meet with it at a designated rendezvous point, then escort it to a distant repair bay. The personnel there stand ready to hold Miss Hadley and patch up the prison transport APCs. When they're finished, you'll be free to press on to the extraction point. Three of fourteen priority salvage, hundred nine thousand sea bills at three and a half skulls. According to Darius, this shouldn't be anything out of the ordinary, Commander. Let's get it done. I think he is going to be completely wrong, but hey, maybe we can pull this off with a minimal of problems. Good to see you, Commander. We're ready to get a move on as soon as you reach the rendezvous point. These fields are absolutely lousy with bandits and highwaymen, and they're desperate enough to take a shot at anybody passing through their territory. 
They might even include battle mechs, so get ready for incoming fire. As soon as you get us to the Rohaya Bay, the sooner we can transfer Hadley to your custody. And that can't happen soon enough for my taste, so let's get this show on the road. Now, technically he should be British, but you know what? I'm having fun using that voice. I got to use it somewhat for one of the mercenaries earlier on, and I want to use it again. Alright, let's get in there and see if we can't save some peoples. So we must secure the convoy, which no doubt will result in a battle with the Lance. I'm really liking the Stalker, by the way. The setup for it is absolutely aces. Six medium lasers and a pair of LRM-20s. You got a nice flexible design right there. I'm a fan of Stalkers, anyway, so that's one of the reasons I've enjoyed it. The Super Catapult moniker, I think, is completely accurate for what this thing is capable of doing. Because it's exactly what it sounds like. It's basically your average catapult, except two more medium lasers. And, of course, LRM-20s. It doesn't have the jump jets, though. The jump jets would weigh, like, two and a half tons, which is not exactly something I'm willing to spend. Are we seriously going to make it to the rendezvous point without a single problem? Can't help but get the feeling that this entire section of this mission could have been skipped. Ah, uh, but that's okay. It allows us to get a feel for the location. Well, we uh, get set up, so we're just going to go there so that everybody else can get there. And I will actually move Reach first so that I can step on base. Ooh, I can't actually step on base with the highlighter, but that's okay. We'll step on it next turn. So we have no idea where we're going, so we'll just do this, because I kind of think that they're going to uh, spawn, and then we'll have to go to a different area. Alrighty. Glad you could finally make it. Now let's get moving. The faster we can offload Miss Hadley onto your employer, the happier I'll be. Oh, so apparently we weren't actually meeting over here. We were meeting over here. Enemy contact. We have a 75-ton mech and an 80-ton vehicle. That 80-ton vehicle could very well be a demolisher, so we're about to get punched in a very, very unpleasant way. So we're just going to move over here to the side, see if we can't get in the way first and foremost. We do, after all, have to cover them before they get blown up. There is a Super Scout, or perhaps a medium mech with, you know, a Cyclops backing him up and a good enough pilot. So let's go take a peek. I kind of don't want to take the Cataphract out of cover. And it is an Orion 1V. Orion 1V's excellent mechs. Open fire. Ooh, good shooting right there. And see, this is why I like this cataphract. <laughs> Just completely ripped off the entire arm. To be fair, it was an ammunition explosion. But we did knock out down his firepower pretty considerably. Slavner APC moving around not quite into cover. And that is a Shrek PPC carrier. So not quite as deadly. He still is dangerous, but he doesn't have quite the same amount of spike damage that the Demolisher would have. Oh, are you kidding me already? <sighs> River's gonna be on the back line for the next couple of contracts. That's irritating on several levels, I must admit. Stalker. Uh, let's move the Super Catapult into range to hopefully beat the crap out of somebody. Preferably somebody who severely irritated me. Unfortunately, it looks like I don't have a direct line of sight, which is unfortunate. Because I'm not about to place myself into a position to give myself a direct line of sight. Although, yeah, give him some love. We'll pop 40 missiles onto his front and see what that does to him. Oh, he did not like that. Unfortunately, he's still alive, which is a bit of a sad thing. We should be able to, you know, distribute some firepower to him. But your cataphract's gonna have to eat three PPCs, one, two, and three. But we're relatively okay. The Orion, I should be able to kill with reach, although no guarantees on that. But if I can get the Highlander to you know, make a kill on that Shrek PPC carrier, that might be ideal. Melt the target, you and you. You only have, what, like 12 health on the front? Yeah, so... Uh, you will go to Bravo, and that's it, and I will sort of risk that happening. I'm kind of surprised that he can actually do an entire Alpha Strike. So we've managed to get him mostly dead at this point. Unfortunately, he's not unsteady, and we did take out, of course, the Shrek PPC carrier. So that is working quite nicely. Don't know what's in cover off over here to the side, but uh, we'll figure it out kind of soon as the Vega APCs move nice and slowly. What do we got? We've got an 80 ton and a 70 ton. Okay, that's not any weapon carriers. My weapon carriers, of course, mean the ever so fun and pleasant to deal with SRM carriers. Don't have enough in order to give me a call shot, so 60% miss and a hit, but it's not anywhere important, but a couple of hits to the center torso will make him unsteady, which will allow a fairly decent follow-up, especially if the Vega APCs would actually fire the large lasers. Are they equipped with large lasers? I thought they were. No, they got mediums. 70-ton vehicle, unknown. Okay, river time to finish this guy off. Can you get into cover while doing it? Not really. Okay, in that case, you're just going to stand still. I mean, it is honestly the best solution. Fire! And capped him out. Lovely job. The Orion is down. So the first of the heavies is out of the fight. We only have two vehicles in the assault phase, although I'm only seeing the one. Oh, one's moving at rank five. Wait, who's moving at five? How can you move at five? 
82 vehicle. It was a demolisher. I'm so glad I didn't actually have a shot on anybody. Range, well, if you wouldn't please mind, uh, give him all the love that you can possibly have at your disposal. Shut off medium laser to keep the missiles under control, and yeah, plant the love. So all the missiles we can manage. Quite heavily damage his forward armor, so we might actually be able to kill him shortly as the APCs slowly shift up. Again, I got a readout. And readout will step out of cover for this one. After all, I think we can actually manage this. We're going to pop all of the missiles right into his front. And that'll be just enough to annihilate the demolisher. So not terrible at all. We've killed everybody, I think. Wait, no, there's somebody who's still moving at range. Oh, yeah, you, the 70 thunner. Reach. Uh, do you see him? You do not. How about you run out of cover? And that way you can be in the way and hopefully avoid them being able to actually get shot at. That is, of course, always the goal. So whatever he is, it's 70 tons, really? Moving at five? Oh, it's a Galant! A Galant urban assault vehicle, which uh, is supposed to be incredibly, like, super powerful. Um, I will be the judge of that, and I will be the judge of that by firing a weapon into his side. So we need to shut off probably both two medium lasers. Yep, that still keeps two more firing, so I'm actually going to precision shot on this one. Because we, as well, will spend it right here for the 86. Hey, look! He's open. Unfortunately, hey, he's dead. Okay, so we've taken out all the reinforcements. We're hoping that we can get all the light APCs, well, they're not all that light, to the support area. We should start moving people along. I can't believe you took a headshot. That's just so unfortunate. Oh, the unlucky headshots. I have a, we found a second uh, health cockpit. We put it into the stalker, because I figured the stalker was going to eat a lot of fire. But the cataphract kind of needs it too, apparently. Every single mech desperately needs an injury resist cockpit. They're just too important. Heads up, new sense of context. We got we're gonna have company. All right, we've got an Orion, a 75 tonner, and a 65 tonner. See, this ought to be somewhat interesting, especially because several of my mechs are out of cover. And these guys didn't move. Oh no, they are moving. They're in the open. Unfortunate. Hopefully, I can dive on top of these guys before anything bad can happen to them, because I would like to, you know, protect my people, especially because I don't want to take any damage on the mechs. And our transport's coming down. Hello, yellow for Davian. So they're going to go pick these guys up, although it's going to take them a while because we'll probably kill all three of these mechs before that actually happens. We've got a medium, or at least, yeah, we've just got a fast heavy. You going to fire my Vagers? No! Don't you dare. Don't you dare drill. Stop that drilling. This area is protected. You are not allowed to drill. Okay, here's what you're going to do, and I feel so sorry that I'm going to have to ask you to do this, but... You're going to Vigilance, first of all. You're going to target this Orion, and you're going to get in his face about it. Both medium militias engage. Because I've got to distract them. Don't shoot my APCs. You stop that right this instant. And slide your APC into cover. The problem is, oh, one of them doesn't get the memo. He's going to shoot. Stop shooting my APCs. Please, no red numbers. Please, no red numbers. Ah! Oh, my God. Okay, now please be like a base defense, and you are now going to be totally locked. Thank you on the cataphract. Okay. I was very worried. So... River standing in the line of fire. That cataphract doing its job. Uh, can we get the Atlas at play here? We're going to do our trick here. It's precision strike. Go for that head. You got a 20%. Oh, tore it clean off. That is why you don't go after my little guys. They are mine to protect. You do not have any right to shoot at them. So a beautiful headshot for his first shot. Asking for a headshot. Read out. Let's get the fire down. I think I want to strip away that Orion. The Orions are, of course, the most dangerous target out here. And I have a whole bunch of weapons and a heatsink capability, so I may as well use all of it. And, oh, I just remembered I shouldn't have done that. Well, it did blow off half the mech, or at least the AC-10. I should have fired with uh, Range Bolt first, because that will ensure that a mech goes overheated. Or not overheated, but no longer stable. So Range Bolt, unfortunately, is not going to be able to force a knockdown, which would be ideal. Uh, I don't want to stand in cover to do this. I just want to shoot at him. Sure, we'll stride out of color, cover. We want to, of course, give them as many things to shoot at as possible. I'm going to multi-target here because I have realized that we did not actually shoot at the Thunderbolt just yet. So this... Ooh, I need to keep that off. Uh, this can go Bravo. This can go Bravo. Everything else into the Orion. So we're just going to give him all the love. Okay, we've made him a stick, so he's basically worthless. He can punch and kick, which is dangerous. But he, uh... Other than that, he has no capability to do anything else. I'm trying desperately to keep my little APCs alive. I've laid three mechs exposed and out of cover. Surely you can target them first. Oh good, he's going for the cataphract. 
Use that armor, darling. Use it all. Good job. So thankfully, because of vigilance, we were able to keep things under control. River is now going to maneuver like an ace mech pilot. Slip on right beside him. Use our coolant vent on this one to make sure that we can get the full alpha strike going. Surprise, buddy. Okay, that was in the leg. That, that wasn't intended. Kind of wanted to kill him with that, but I guess he's going to be just on his back. He can't shoot anybody, but he can kick, and now that I'm next to him, he's going to kick me. Which is a bit unfortunate, because it's kind of painful. Orion's kick for 95, so do I have the leg armor for that? No, no I don't. Besides, the kicks can go anywhere, so there is that. Here comes the kick! I was expecting it. Oh, opened up my arm quite badly, actually. So that was painful. This mech is going to have to go in for a little bit of repair work. But I do have a whole bunch of extras, so that's not the biggest thing in the world. Highlander! Get up there, give him a boot. Uh, okay, so apparently there's a whole lot of arm hitting going on here. We needed to chill out for a little bit. So we got another one of our little guys on target. Uh, Reach, if you wouldn't mind. To read out, Stalker, give me a line of sight. Do you got it? You don't. Can you get it? No, you can't. Huh. Good position, I suppose, on his part. So we're going to position ourselves and just start lobbing fire over towards that Orion. Because the Orion could potentially kill us and we don't want that to happen. I could multi-target. I'm not going to. Missiles at long range, providing him a little bit of love. And that's enough in order to wipe out our, the Orion right there. Good job. And Reach, last thing's up for you. A little bit of fire going into the Thunderbolt. He's not having the best of days. He's about to have a much worse day. Surprise, buddy. I have Precision Strike. Headshot, please. Oh, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Called Shot Mastery is the most amazing thing ever. And we just need to get the last of our APCs into the zone. It is unfortunate. River took an injury, but River also took a, uh, took a penetrating hit on the armor. And it's not a penetrating hit I can ignore either, unfortunately. It's a really bad one. <laughs> She's got 14 health left in that arm. Which, yeah, that's not the worst thing in the world. After all, you can survive that no problem. But it does mean that that mech, unless we get a repair time of a day, is probably not going to be available. Objective. Objective secured. Good job, everybody. So we managed to take out absolutely everybody. Butchered them all, so not too terrible. Uh, we didn't... Oh, actually, no. We, we managed to recover several of those mechs completely intact. The Thunderbolt and the Orion. All targets eliminated. Sit tight and collect you from where you are right now. Thanks for the assist, Commander. We're in the repair bay, safe and sound. And we're going to have to keep you that way. Don't get too comfortable there, Commander. I've got two unidentified dropships on the approach trajectory. They'll be touching down within the next few minutes. Great. Get ready, everybody. We're about to have another fight on our hands. Hopefully we can take it. I mean, ooh, the cataphract's going to be down, which means the Orion has to sub in. But the Orion is so hot. This is not the environment for it. 130. 1,800 Z-Bills, because we increased by 20% by doing that. The pirates really don't like us. 2,800 experience all around. Oh, so unfortunate the river's down for the next 12 days. So I could just get an Orion. Like, it's right there. Anything special? No, that's a terrible AC-10. Uh, not a useful LRM. Uh, they're all small sides. Leg mods. TTS Ballistic. Interesting. Uh, self damage. Don't really care about that one. All right, so we'll take a TTS and we'll grab two Orion parts. That sounds good to everybody. That sounds good to me because that'll guarantee us another Orion V. I don't see the point to taking the gay at this point. So, and we don't want a Thunderbolt. So we'll just confirm that. That'll give us an Orion to throw in the hold. I literally have no room for it. And in fact, I need to start building some light mechs because unfortunately, uh, there's a couple of flashpoints up in this area that are light mech limited only. And I have one light mech. So a bit of a concern at the moment, but I will have to uh, grind out a couple of light mechs because I basically sold them all so I could just continue to take missions without having to do any of the work. If I had just taken the opportunity to take a couple of missions for pure cash on the grind, it wouldn't have mattered. But now it's an issue. So we got ourselves an Orion 1V, lovely, and we'll just put that right into storage. Thank you. We could sell it sell for half a million Siebels. We don't really need that just about now. Yeah, turn around right into the mission. Pull the cataphract off, because the cataphract is no longer on battle. Oh, I could take you, but you have, like, no durability. <laughs> could take the grasshopper. Ooh, interesting. Grasshopper cooks, but it also punches pretty hard. I mean, we're hitting for 90 damage. It's not terrible. But I think the Orion might be the better way to go. Or the Black Knight. I want a penetrating hit weapon, and that's the Orion. Yeah, as you can see, we have uh, one light mech in the entire roster. Uh, let's go drag peace out. 
That'll work, right? Yeah, peace. Welcome back to the club. You're going to read five. Could be a little bit of a problem, but really it's going to be Richie's going to be doing most of the penetrating hits. You're just basically there for a little bit of additional fire support, which is useful, but, um, yeah, kind of would prefer the cataphract. I suppose I shouldn't, but the cataphract is really nice. And I had a lot of fun with it. So Twin Large Laser has better long-range fire support, just cooks a little bit better. The Upper Tennis 2. Our sensors have indicated several large groups of incoming vehicles and battle mechs, Commander. Whoever they are, I need you to hold them off and drive them away. Above all, they cannot be allowed to free Miss Hadley from confinement. She belongs to us. Of three and a half skull, two of eight salvage for 559,200 seabills. Not exactly uh, the best paying out for that sort of thing, but I suppose the real goal is the loot box at the end. Well, this just got interesting. Saddle up, Casper. We got a prison to defend. It's not really a prison, it's a repair bay, but you get the idea. Oh good, it's this map. I've never actually defended on this map, I don't think. We have walls all around us. Both groups of unidentified hostiles are moving to comms range now, Commander. Hopefully they're in a talking mood, because I want to know what we're up against. You had attention, place. This is Commander Mitchell Pearl of Joppin' Lake Cavalry. Your custody of a woman who's wanted on my world for multiple charges of larceny, burglary, and grand theft. You'll surrender her to me immediately, or my people will take her from you. That won't be possible, Commander Pearl. We're holding Miss Hadley at the personal request of the first Prince Hans Davian. I am the Duchess Corina Albert Alberti. I demand you surrender your captive to my soldiers. She would face the justice of the Hitori of the Hero Titan Royal Court, where she will confess to the theft of our world's most precious heirloom. You're late to the party, lady. May as well get in line. This is gonna end in gunfire, Casper. Hold the repair bay. House Davian wants Hadley, so we can't let anybody else take her. Okay, let's just get this done. Alrighty, so out there somewhere is the enemy. We must defend all target buildings from destruction and defend the fortified repair bay. Oh, and... Roger. Whoops! Uh, that's not the worst thing ever. I mean, it could be, but it's not. But everybody step out of cover. We need to just see what's coming our way. I'd like to kill them before they get anywhere near the actual base. Oh, are they coming from multiple? No, that's that's an artifact then. There's the enemy. They have identified themselves, and here they come with a wolverine. How cute. So they are going to be able to move before me, which will mean pain. But uh, with any luck, yeah, we got two mediums and a heavy. Please don't shoot the base. Yeah, they're shooting the base. There's not much I can do about it. That base is destroyed. Well, there's nothing I could have done about it, man. No, seriously, I just don't move fast enough in order for this to happen. Which is supposed to the point, like, oh, bring bring lighter mix. No. No, we will not do that. Peace. Uh, peace moving in the wrong direction was a really big problem, but peace can at least get a little bit of fire on the crab. We're about to have a large laser duel, which, I'm gonna be honest, I think we're gonna lose. <laughs> he missed both shots. Peace, not exactly instilling us with a great deal of confidence. Unfortunately, we're going to have problems. Who's this over here? It is a 65 Thunder, and it is a Thunderbolt. And the Thunderbolt's going to sit there, entrenched, guarded, and all the good stuff. Fourth mech coming in, another 65-er. Hopefully, it's also something simple and easy to kill. Shift on over here. Hi, surprise. Um, hmm. Multi-target, because I need to get both of them not shooting at the base, but shooting at me. Okay, we hit with one, which is really unfortunate. We also hit in a fairly unfortunate spot, too. I mean, a leg hit. Center torso would have been much better. Rangeable. Uh, can I get you with just all the other rims? I absolutely can. Uh, we're gonna do that. I think the stalker's gonna move up to engage these two, just because it's fairly amusing. Um, burn you down, or burn you down? Uh, we're gonna burn the guy who I'm on the side arc to, because I think I have a semi-decent chance of killing him by doing this. Or at least tearing off a leg or something? Wow, no, apparently not. That was rather disappointing, actually. Uh, readout. You have new orders, yes. Uh, those orders are going to be a combination, multi-target. Because I want to make sure that we knock that Wolverine over just for the sake of getting things done. So, provide him an LRM-20. It's not super important, but if you could give him... Could give him both LRM-20s. Yeah, we'll give him both. See if we actually blow anything special. So, lasers drilling into the crap. We even got a headshot out of that one. Not terrible at all. And then a whole bunch of missiles. Accurate. Oh, it just ripped apart literally half the mech. Side torso destruction. He's fallen over. His center torso is exposed. That's a fairly decent amount of job done right there. Very happy with that. Readout's also cooking quite badly. But such is the life of the super catapult. All right, he's moving to the medium mech phase. So crab opening fire with both large lasers. Managing to drill with just one shot, actually. So not quite a drill. 
just damage the Stalker, but the Stalker is a tough monster of a mech designed for combat in all ranges, and it does it fairly well, if we're completely honest. Oh, good, we'll be in AC-20 range. Lovely. Give him a bit of a gift. Yeah, hit with the AC-20, even better. And I would have been, like, super psyched if you had managed to completely tear off that torso entirely. Did not look like that was the case. Wolverine's about to stand up. He's lost, well, most of his weaponry. Well, actually, no, that's not true. He lost his big pinpoint weapon. And he's going to fall back just a little bit. He is now afraid of what has just happened to him. He's going to fire on the Highlander. Which, uh, hmm, Atlas or Highlander? Which one would you shoot at? Well, the Highlander has demonstrated that it has a truly terrifying missile cell. I do have to get over to that guy over there to make sure that he doesn't actually shoot the base. Destroy- oh, I saw it for a second that said destroy incoming missiles, and I was like, wait a second, what? Am I about to have to deal with the Star Fox situation here? Whole bunch of machine guns pattering off the Atlas armor. The Atlas is able to take it. Other 65 ton is gonna waltz on forward. Please don't get a target. Does not have a target. Lovely. Read out. Can you go deal with that target as well? We need to just make sure that he doesn't do anything. Hey, it's a catapult C1. That's pretty cool. I mean, it is pretty cool. Uh, we, of course, need to multi-target. One, and you, and one, and you, and I also need two coolant vents. So coolant vent first, obviously, and then multi-target. So, most of the stuff to you, one shot to you, just to sort of make sure that you get the memo. Uh, but yeah, blast away. Oh, a good amount of hitting right there, and drill, 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 drill. Drill, baby drill. We've almost actually torn off his other source now. And the hit on the catapult just to make sure that he doesn't actually go for the base defenses, which was the only goal of that. Reach, I would like you to honestly get into cover, but that does not look like it's going to be a thing, which is unfortunate on several levels. I also don't want you to get too close to anything. Seriously, you are just barely outside of range of cover, which is so very saddening. I will place myself right here, mainly because it's going to be the run arc, and we're going to do that trick that we love to try and do. Although we did get quite lucky on it last time, so go for the head. Oh, just mm -hmm, beautiful. I love it. And that's an entire heavy mech we don't got to bother with killing at all. Uh, who do I want to kill? I want to kill both of them, honestly. But uh, can I pull back? Is there an armored location? There is not. Okay, that's all right. We will just uh, shift on over to here and utilize our superior long-range firepower. Seems like such a weird setup for a Highlander. It really is. Oh, I can knock you over, so I'm going to have to make sure I do that. Some multi-target. You're getting some love. You're getting some love. Oh, actually, no. We need to cool invent this one. As well, I need to keep the fire up for the first round of shooting. Just to make sure that they don't get it. If we kill as many of them as possible before reinforcements might show up. Uh, give him an LRM-20 just to be sure. And then blast everything. Rock and low. Okay, good amount of drilling going on in here. And tore off his arm, which he didn't need. But he is now no longer evasive. Is this going to be enough? Uh, it looks like it is. You going on your back? He had 10 health left off. Oh, I had put in two LRM-20s, probably would have blown that entire torso off. Made him mostly useless. Minus one to his initiative. And we're back up to the top. Ah, great. We've got more contacts. That's what I was worried about. And the Wolverine's going to bounce around, opening fire with his SRMs, trying to get a little bit of damage done. And, you know, succeeding, because SRMs are excellent weapons, and if they're the only thing you got left, they're quite nice to have. Oh, no, don't tell me. Can I see these guys? Just, they're not even on radar. That's going to be irritating. Got to figure out a way to, you know, get to them. So we'll shift over like so. Can I get a sensor lock? Something? Anything? They can see the base, but I can't see them. That's a bit of a frustrating situation to be in. I need to deal with some heat just a little bit. Let me shut off the... Yes, I know. I'm shutting off an entire heavy weapon system. And that cost me. Because we didn't actually kill the crab, and we really should have with that shot. Peace has just not been shining as brightly as he should. Or she should. Okay, his systems are back online. He's going to walk forward with his large laser. I'm fire right on the side of the stalker, which is going to hurt. Which hopefully will not drill too well, because otherwise we may end up losing the stalker. And that would be bad on several levels. And we've got a whole bunch of missiles coming to splatter piece. That seemed fewer than I thought it was. But in any event, the armor's not too badly damaged. It's been sandblast. Oh, God. I can't stop what I can't see. More importantly, how are they seeing it? Oh, you're probably giving... You're giving trade secrets, aren't you? Uh, give him a boot to the face? Is this a risk to a catapult in the back? It is, but I'm gonna do it. Give him a boot to the face. That was not enough of a boot to the face. Unless he's dead. Is he dead? Oh, the pilot's dead. Okay, lovely. So that should shove off some of their stuff, hopefully. Nope, nope, they can still see it. 
I don't know how, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this, not unless I can kill these guys extra quick. And I don't think there's a world where I kill these guys super quick. Commander. Range Bolt, I need you to just give him all the love and set off ammunition, explosions, life right, etc. Just make him die. So as much love as he can possibly give, he's now on the steady. Reach. I don't want to maneuver reach there because reach won't be able to do other things after that. Okay, we're going to shift over here. You need to just not hit him in a side torso. Okay, good. So we're down to just the catapult who's spotting. Because they shouldn't be able to see me. Unless they got a lightning range. Because there they are. I've identified them now. They shouldn't be able to see past these walls, though. Alright, peace. You need to go hard in on this guy. So I know that you've got to dig deep and you don't like doing that. But, dude, like... Now is the time to seriously get over your phobia of doing well. If I hit him in the center torso, if I drill right, he'll die. 54. I got That'll not really do it. I'm going to be honest with you. That that needed a little bit more than that. Plus he's going to... Well, no, he, eh, no he's going to be able to move. Or maybe not, because they've got a heavy over here. All right, so reach. Can you get the range? Reach has the range. What's the damage? 65. Precision target might do it. Which armor do you got left? This will be close. This will knock him over at the very least. Precision strike. 85. Let's go for that center torso. 82s. Are you kidding me? He missed them both at 85s. Reach, man. Don't let peace infest you. Keep that hard-hitting, deadly mother effer. Make it so that you just annihilate everything in the universe like you used to. But do not succumb to peace. <laughs> I need you out there, man. I need you out there. All right, let's let's give him some love. It's time to invest heavily in LRMs. Come on, break him, break him, break him, break him. Okay, we got him. So we've killed the first group. Now we gotta hook around and kill the second group before they can start blowing up more buildings because we're running out of buildings is becoming a problem. On the bright side, readout will be able to sprint around to the corner, which is great because the stalker is excellent for this. I really like the stalker. <laughs> I'm such a fan of it. Oh, it's it's my super catapult, and I like it a lot. I think it'll do well. It'll do well if we can get things done right on it. So we're gonna stay hidden by the corner. So we got a 75 tonner and an unknown mech. Brace that'll chill you out. We'll be able to handle more things. This Orion is so so toasty. He's having such trouble getting his heat pack under control. <laughs> and it is Orion 1v. Reach for higher ground. Reach is going to have to just sprint. Reach is also cooking a bit, so he could use a round of just chilling out with his super nimble Atlas. And the enemy will now be able to fire at long range missiles at us with 90 ton or Banshee, probably? Yeah. Could be a Cyclops, though. Give me a line of sight on that guy. Uh, it's not super great, but I might be able to get everything on him. No, we will not. And I need a turn before I can just totally heat cook him. And we'll just rain some love. After all, he's not exactly undercover. Readout is going to... Uh, your armor's doing okay. It's not phenomenal, but I do want to keep an eye on it. So I'm maneuvering to the side where we can hopefully get into a little bit more of a foresty area. I'm going to go for the precision strike because he has enough secondary weapons where it really would be valuable. Uh, and Orion taking out this torso would actually be pretty helpful on this one. The difference of 4%. Fire! Just burn and drill, baby. Burn and drill. Is that a fire amount? No ammunition was set off in the making of this film. Which is sad, because ammunition explosions are very, very helpful. Okay, we got a scout. It's a 30 tonner. Just don't jump over this wall. I'll be happy if you don't jump over the wall. Or maneuver to the other side. Just, just don't, don't do intelligent things. If I could just ask one thing of you, it would be to not do that. Okay, we're going to go over here. High spirits for peace, so we're going to utilize them as best as we can. We know that peace is not exactly the most uh, aggressive of our pilots. I was so hoping that you would actually just overcome that and actually nail that torso. Well, you got the ammo, so you know what? I got to give you some credit for that. Peace demonstrating he doesn't want to kill people. He's going to let keep people kill themselves. 90 tonner, not actually in range just yet. Rangeable. Or do I want readout? I think the stalker's got the shot. And we're going to move over to the open side. 
cooking a little bit, so we're going to use the cool event to keep that under control because we need the alpha. We need all the alpha at this point. Okay, that's a lot drilling into the into the torso or into the leg. I mean, but I'm not against it. Okay, we've neutered the Orion. He's basically a spotter at this moment, so if he comes close, we're fine. He's gonna get rid of his stability damage. It's not like he can do anything else. Oh, you poor, poor boy. Uh, reach. I think I just want to see if I can't get a couple of AC-20 shells into you. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, so the Orion is knocked out of the fight. We've got 25% of the enemy defeated. And then, of course, we have that 90 tonner in back, which who knows what that'll be. Uh, but I'm just going to walk you forward this time because I need to get this heat desperately under control. So we're going to let the heat venting going on. This 90 tonner could be a little bit of a problem. 30 tonner heading on back. Please don't spot for him. And 55 tonner back in the corner. Peace. Let's reveal who this 90 tonner is. So my bet is Banshee. I don't think he's a Cyclops, but I could be wrong. I, I'm happy to be wrong, if I'm completely honest, because <laughs> if I capture that... Uh, large laser off. Hail Mary! Oh, good job! Excellent job. Lovely. So I didn't think he was going to hit it. It was a 35%. It was just, just shoot it. See what happens. And he did lovely. So the Cyclops moving up, not really doing anything. So here's my plan. We're going to lay into him with everything. Uh, not quite everything. Because if I can hit him hard enough and set him unsteady. No, that's not going to happen. His bolt, his protection right there is just too great. We cannot crack it. Uh, I would like a direct line of sight for obvious reasons. So I can shoot him with 95%. Uh, that'll be fine. We'll use the LRMs. I mean, it'd be nice to use medium lasers, but the LRMs are fine, too. Also, we chill out a little bit with it, so that's helpful. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do it was because I'd like to get a headshot on him, which is somewhat difficult to do uh, if you don't have any ability to actually do it. I mean, I've got the shot, 50%, but I've also got the shot on you. Medium laser, oh, that's nothing. Shoot the... Shoot him. Now, the reason why we did that is that will give us a whole bunch of resolve. Which is good, because now we can use that resolve to engage the Cyclops. Mainly, I want to get a headshot on that Cyclops. Unfortunately, I think Reach is cooking. Ooh, that's a problem. Peace. Let's hope that peace doesn't break out. <laughs> uh, let's move. I just need to step alone to the side. Hello, my buddy. Gonna give you some love. I cannot actually control the temperature gauge on this thing. That is really sad. Even firing the AC-20 is too much for the heat sinks on this mech. Which I suppose was partly by design. If I'm completely honest, there was a certain method to that madness. The Orion gonna take a whole bunch of fire, but the Orion was in cover and able to handle that. Heavily armored and built for it. Alright, Reach. I want you to do it. I want you to impress us once more with your fabulous dis display of ultimate accuracy. Shout out the SRM-6. That's not enough. Ultimate display of accuracy. That was his crotch, man, not his head. Gonna be honest with you, that was really disappointing. Heat vent! Just stand still. You know what to do. Pepper him with everything you got. Just, oh, we got a penetrating hit on the arm. Just lay on into him. Heat sink destroyed. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get another resolve bonus on this one. I think we've used that all up. And forever, that was our only chance of getting headshots. So sad. But we will make it work anyway. Lob the fire! Given the missiles, we have two rounds, so it'll be next round or bust on this one. So, medium laser crit. He's not actually unsteady. He is a solid standing mech, man. He will not be moved. 55 tonner, gonna wobble around. It's a wolverine, like all the other wolverines. Peace. Uh, you've got a good shot here, actually. You know what? Just, just shoot him. Just shoot him. But you have cool invent. I didn't realize that. Use the cool invent. So you can use all the weapons and just shoot him. Shoot him in the head! Confirmed. No, that, that was a torso. Which I, I get that you're finally starting to get into that whole being a warrior type deal again, but the head is what we want. Because I want the entire mech. I mean, we'll lose the battle console, but worth it. Also, you are just pitiful the amount of firepower that you have. Like, you're really kind of sad. Uh, let's see. I need Reach. Reach, just be cooking, yo. Just too much heat for him to handle. Precision strike. Oh, I can't do the second one. Okay. Oh, everything. 
Lovely. Go over the head. That did not tear off his head. That teared off most of his torso and yeah, all of his torso. He's a stick at this point. Unfortunately, he can't take double double uh, torso heads, so he's down to just a leg and a center torso. How painful for him. Rage bolt. Yeah, you're just gonna sit here and you're gonna keep the love going down. Go for the leg and shut down some medium lasers. Shut down all the medium lasers. LRM 15? LRM 20? Yeah, that's gotta be it. Fire the leg! Blow it off, blow it off, blow it off. If we take off the leg, then we get to keep most of the mech. Because I think I have a Cyclops part? I don't remember. And so we need to take this leg. We are cooking. We are cooking all of our mechs. According to this, there is no health left in that leg. So I'm not quite sure what's up with that. Uh, we need to shut off medium lasers, though, in order to keep this sucker under control. I think we just want to do that. It should be good enough, right? Without killing him? No. No, we, we set off an ammunition explosion which blew up the whole mech. That was unfortunate. Looks like that's the last of them. Nice. So we have managed to successfully defend the base. Although not perfectly defend the base. And also we're not going to get the two Cyclops parts that I was really kind of hoping to grab. Because that would have been cool. Two LRM-20 is just a little bit too much. Local pirate organization, not exactly happy with us. The Federated Sun's absolutely loving what we're doing out here. No penetrating hits, no pilot injuries, and Peace is feeling fine. Although Peace really should, you know, uh, get a little bit more aggressive. Okay, so I didn't have an extra catapult part, so it wouldn't have made a difference anyway. Or not catapult, but Psychos. I may be bringing both of these. I already have a whole bunch of Orions. <laughs> Any special cool equipment? A gyro? Uh, gyros are not bad. Is it a battle computer or something like that? Isn't that something that's on these things, or is that built into the mech? Uh, weapons. Lacking the close-in weapons and command suite. Oh, okay. So no, the one Cyclops we got was not the Cyclops with the special system. Do I want a gyro? I do want a gyro. Swap that out. Swap that out. May as well. I need gyros. Just to throw them in. Throw gyros in at anything. So we got the Cyclops, the Wolverine, and the Thunderbolt part. And other than that, nothing of any sort of interest and or note. But hey, on the plus side, we managed to get... Uh, Get the lady protected, Miss Hadley. Prevent her from be escaping with the rest of her pirate bros, pals, and otherwise fiends. People who we do not want to have access to, apparently, the fox. Although, like, I assume there's going to be a Flashpoint decision coming up very shortly, where it's going like, to be like, Hey, I'm not all that bad. They're bad people. So, we'll find out very shortly. Now that we're safe and sound in the repair bay, things seem to have quieted down. I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like we're in the clear. You may be in the clear, but I haven't had a moment's peace since I got here. Exo, we need to talk. I'm all ears. What's the problem? It's the repair crew pit boss. The son of a bitch won't leave me alone. He sent over 25 messages to the Leopard since we have arrived, and when I stopped responding, he showed up in person to hammer on the door. What does he want? The guy keeps saying that Hadley has a message for you that she needs to talk. I don't know if Hadley promised him money or flirted with him or what, but we won't take no for an answer. And I'm about five minutes from beating the holy hell out of him. Under ordinary circumstances, I'd tell you to be my guest, but we need this crew working at full capacity. They can't do it if their pit boss is laid out in the infirmary. Maybe we should just get a prisoner what she wants and put her up on a view screen. I mean, it couldn't hurt. She's locked in a cell and we're up here on a bridge. Uh, you know what? It couldn't hurt. Let's talk to her. If you say so, I'll put her up on the view screen so she can only so she can speak her piece. Here's hoping we won't wind up regretting this. You listen? To oh, you're actually listening to me, thank God. Thank you, Commander. I haven't had a conversation with anybody in authority since the constabulary abducted me. The only person who will talk to me is that guy from the repair crew, and he hasn't and he isn't in any kind of position to actually help me. Nobody said anything about helping you, Miss Hadley, and to be honest, you should probably give up on that right now. You aren't getting out of that cell. Now, you wanted to talk, so talk. Commander Ma will decide whether or not decide if you, anything you has to say has any value. Well, in that case, let me lead with a question. Do you want to get rich? That was hypothetical. Don't answer. You're people for money. Of course you want to get rich. And that's fortunate because I happen to know a really easy score not ten minutes away from here. Amazing coincidence, right? Sometimes life is just funny that way. We're talking about a literal treasure trove of rare and valuable mech components and they'd fetch an absolute mint on the black market. Or hell, you could share them for yourself. I won't judge. Of course, you want to know where the goods are buried. You're going to have to do something for me first. A little uh, quid pro quo. 
if you will. You're going to ask us to spring out of the prison so you can forget it. Your little stunt on Han Davian's pleasure yacht made it basically possible for us to help you directly. Oh, I know. I wasn't going to ask you to free me. You're going to prison. I'm already going to prison. I've already accepted that. But I've got people on the outside who would have to hang on to half of the loot while I'm a guest on of House Davian. Still interested in the commander? I'm listening. Good. Here's how this is going to work. I stay here, safe and sound, in my cell. You and your lance go to the coordinates that I specify and recover the loot. After you've got it, you come back here, leave half the loot with the new with the repair boss crew. You take me to Lady Cunningham's dropship, they cart me off to New Avalon, and you enjoy your half of the payday. Obviously, I'm trusting you to actually leave my half of the loot, but I figure that if that if a Cunningham is doing business with you, you're probably the trustworthy type. Y you are trustworthy, aren't you? Of course. Why wouldn't we be? No reason. So, Commander, you've heard my pitch. Accept it, and you'll make yourself rich for a tiny amount of effort. Refuse, and you'll be leaving a vault full of rare mech components on the table. You'll know they were there, but you'll never find them without my help. So, I ask you, do we have a deal? Let's see. Accept Hadley's offer. You've got a deal. Give me the coordinates of the big heist and we'll follow through on our end. Or refuse the offer. No way. Lady Cunningham not, warned us not to trust you, but I'll let her know what you're planning. Oh, okay. So how much does enlightened self-interest play in this? Well, we got to remember, we're a drac. We're from the Draconis Combine. We're not exactly friends of the Davians, if we're completely honest. I want mech parts. Are any mech parts actually worth it? They're kind of not. Ask her. We'll take it. Smart move, Commander. Very smart move. Get your lance ready. I'll be talking you through this deployment over comms. That's my job. Not today it isn't. And try to relax a little. This is going to be fun. So clearly she's going to break out of prison because we did this. I mean, that's already set up. And we're going to get yelled at by the Davians. But you know what? We don't need to be the best of friends with House Davian. Uh, of course we're going to take this for maximum salvage. After all, it's three and a half skulls. Okay, so uh, why are you here with us, Peace? I'm sorry, but you're not. Oh wait, actually first, before- oh, we don't have to do this immediately. Duh, let's- let's not do this immediately, because I would like to get my cataphract back, because the cataphract is much chiller. It's a very nice, chill mech. So, give me a day, and then we'll cycle a day. Cycle. And stop today. Well, he'll stop it automatically. Now we gotta level up some mech warriors, because I'm sure we've gained a little bit of experience on this one. Casper has not, because Casper has not been fighting. Pabola is slowly leveling up through virtue of using the pods. Um, whew, I want to give you this because it's getting you closer to that, although the plus one evasion will be interesting. Peace, 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 peace. Maybe you can actually hit the broadside of a barn now. We'll give it a shot. I was kind of saving up for called shot. Well, it's already got the called shot bonus, but... Range Bolt has a tenor. Oh, he's got a tenor available. It'll be two evasion or indirect fire penalty. His mech does not shoot at people. Well, like that, anyway. He's going for ten. He's a ten-ten. Reach. Is nothing and readout can level up for called shot mastery. Thank you, readout. You're gonna be fun. River, unfortunately, currently not there, but also a called shot master now because you know, brilliance and genius and all that sorts of things. All right, let us rock and or roll. Flashpoint is active. Continue. That brings us back here. Just a faster way of doing it. The heart of darkness. All right, so let's go steal some stuff. Federated Sons apparently are going to love us. The local pirate organization going to hate us. Pull the Orion out. Put in the Cataphract. Cataphract is just a little bit more nimble. Close range, but nimble. And has a gyro to keep it a little bit more alive. Stability damage taken. So you don't fall over as much. So do I want to keep you in that thing? 6686. Six, six. <sighs> Casper. I want to put Casper in it. I really do. The problem with putting Casper in the Highlander is that Casper does not have the heat sink ability. She's built in a very odd way. It is a bit of a problem, actually. So, unfortunately, you're going to have to s the call jump mastery. We don't take damage. It's not a problem. Oh, the shoot. This is a target acquisition. Crap. Okay, bit of a problem here. We need speed and we need maneuverability and that's things that these mechs don't give. Right. So, we need to grab our faster mechs, which boil. They boil so bad. Uh, but I will throw these in. So we've got the Black Knight and the Grasshopper. We've lost a lot of firepower out of this lance, but we've gained a lot more speed maneuverability, which I feel will be somewhat important. Movement. Yeah, it's so much faster. 
How about the Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt is not fast. The Quick Draw is fast, but the Quick Draw is equipped as a long range fire support version, which I need to basically rip apart and put away. Could bring a Hatchet Man, but I don't think I want to bring a Hatchet Man on a three and a half skull mission. Do I have anything else that can move quick? This thing is. It's interesting, but it's not what I want to bring. You are a boiler, aren't you? And your movement is the same as the Black Knight anyway, and the Black Knight is more is just better in general. Minus, you know, long range firepower, but that's okay. Jumpy Taro? Might be a way to get around the map real quick. Because we're going to have to run people. We're going to have to run people immediately. That's the Grasshopper's job. I'm going to give this a shot, I think. I really kind of want to bring in the Kentaro, but we've seen how much damage we take. It's painful. Bring us down. So, a little bit different lance that I normally like to bring. I kind of regret taking this job because it brought me to a target acquisition, and target acquisitions suck. They are not easy. Um, yeah. And it would be a really terrible thing if we lost the flashpoint because of this mission. I'll have to keep my fingers crossed and hope things actually turn out for the best because this could be ugly. Anyway, target acquisition. I'm glad you decided to listen to reason, Commander. You'd be surprised how... You'd be surprised at how many so-called mercenaries lack the savvy to jump onto an opportunity when it presents itself. Now, the lost of cash that I'm sending you to is close to our location, but here's the catch. It's sealed away in an out-defunct mine, mine shaft. I've got a way to get through it, follow my instructions, and we'll all get rich. I don't trust Hadley, or Sweeney, or, or whatever her name really is for a second, but we should be secure enough in the repair deep, the repair bay's makeshift brig. My advice... Let's go in, go in, expecting a double cross, and let's monitor Hadley's cell. At first, at the first sign of trouble, we'll double back and get her into Lady Cunningham. So this will be three and a half skulls, four of eighty party of salvage, seventy-seven thousand four hundred sea bills, and apparently we're going for a lost tech cash, which should be fun. My anticipation, though, is that um, we're going to get buried. Anyway, okay, Commander, tell your lances to put on their game faces, because there's a lot of lovely salvage out there for the taking, but we're only getting one shot at this. Spare us the pep talk, Hadley. We don't need it. Now you said that this vault is buried in a mine somewhere. At the base of a mountain, yeah. I've sent you to this AO so that you can capture the artillery. You're going to need to crack it open. I can't imagine the planetary government is going to be happy about us using their own artillery pieces to blow up a mountainside. Probably not, but who cares? Now the facility in the front of you has the control relays you need to actually capture it in order to hijack the military's big guns. Take them all and we can get those shells to fly in. We get it, Hadley. We've done this kind of job before. Oh, God, that kind of distance. There's no way I make this mission in time. We're going to fail. Good. Then you probably won't mess it up. When the job is done, circle back to the repair bay and we'll divvy up the loot. Eight rounds. To get here and here? No way. We've lost. Guarantee you we've lost. Because really, it's six rounds to get there. Because if you don't make it there in six rounds, you run out of time. So six rounds to clear... All of that distance? I physically don't think it's possible. Oh, we needed the quick draw. We needed two light mechs, geez. We're not stopping for anything. We're just going to run right through. We're going to let the Atlas deal with everybody else. So the Atlas will fight everybody, but everybody else is just running at full sprint. We're going to have to see what we can actually get done. We do have jump jets, maximum jump jets on the Grasshopper, so that might help us out a little bit. But we're going to struggle trying to get this thing done. Uh, the Black Knight must continue to run. There is no stopping. Hey, it's Cataphract. Cute. And a Centurion. Also cute. Got heavy mechs out there as well, which is gonna suck. 70 Thunners. Black Knight about to take a large laser. Who would have a large laser in a 70 ton mech? I'm gonna guess it's a Black Knight, actually. Uh, read out. If you jumped, you would make it up to there. If you sprinted, you would make it up slightly further. So you're gonna sprint. And we're just going to run right on through to this target zone. Black Knight probably go to that target zone. We just got to get everyone moving. Like, I I honestly don't think I can pull this one off. But I'm going to give it a try. The old college try. Right, we're on the cataphract. We also got to give him a whole bunch of targets to shoot. And the cataphract's going to get lit the heck up. I see it. I see it now. The cataphract is just going to be the center of its own little supernova. Grasshopper getting shot at. Hopefully it'll be evasive enough to actually avoid all the damage. Hey, look. It's only took one missile. Now it is going to start losing its evasion, which kind of sucks. But we will deal. Reach, can you do it? Reach, I want you to jump. Use your jump jets. Oh, wait, he's an Atlas. You don't put jump jets on Atlases. Well, that'd be really cool. Centurion gonna back up, open fire the Black Knight. Good. Managed to miss. Lucky for us. We are stacking up a fairly decent amount of evasion, but it is still lucky. We got a lot of ground to cover and only a little bit of time. It's gonna take us at least three turns to get there. 
One, two, yeah, three probably. Then we gotta sit there. Oh, that's gonna be the painful one. Because that'll be just relying on defenses. Hopefully there's a forest there that I can just tank some fire with. More mechs all around us. All around me are familiar mechs, and they are gonna be painful. Grass we're about to get shot at. By PPC and missiles. Uh, in three, that's a medium. Vindicator? Maybe? Huh, don't really know. Don't really care. As long as I don't actually get hit. Oh, there's a lot of pinpoint going flying around here today. We really got to avoid stepping on that zone. Uh, that zone cannot be touched. Because if it is, then uh, we fail. Uh, I'm going to come in from the back way. See if I can't avoid fire. Black Knight, run! Run the Grand Black Knight. We believe in you. Okay, to be fair, we actually kind of don't. But if you're lucky, you'll succeed. You'll succeed in ways that nobody ever thought possible. Oh, Grasshopper, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. The irony is not lost on me. All right, read out. What's up, boss? What I need is a sprint without actually touching the zone. If you jumped, you would not get as far. Peace. Um, peace is actually in engagement range now. The reason I don't want to touch the zone is because if it activates, everybody targets the grasshopper at that point. I don't want them to do that. Precision strike piece, because you are... Well, you're not a call shot master, but you have the ability. Oh, good. Beautiful hit. Love it. Tear him apart. Kill him entirely. Most most of him is dead. So there's that. There's a chance that Reach actually makes it. Okay, Reach and back to readout. Reserve. Just go down to the bottom on this one. I got six rounds to go. Oh, we're running out of time. Target acquisition was a mission explicitly designed to make you think that you were running out of time. And guess what? We absolutely are. We're almost at half armor on that leg. That's going to be a problem. Uh, you've got a shot, right? You do, but it's not a very good one. 70 is there. Over here is still 70. So we'll run right here. I'll see if I can't kill off the, uh, the Centurion. Good, lovely. So we've taken out one of the eight mechs. So that'll be a little bit helpful. Should be able to get to this location without too much trouble. The question is, can I do it with readout not actually touching base? Because that's the problem. If readout touches it, okay, that'll that'll put her in a place where she's not touching. She's presenting her back to some people, but that's okay. As long as we don't activate this tile. Holy goodness, we got a lot coming in. We got to activate this soon. Preferably with the Atlas. Cataphract tank damage. Oh, boy. Cataphract's leg just got completely torn open, basically, in one go. Oh, well, actually, the Cataphract wasn't... Oh. Hatchet Man, Shadow Hawk, Thunderbolt. These are all mechs that I do not want to have to worry about. Oh great, it's a it's a blazer. He's got lots of meat large lasers to blast us with. There are so many mechs here. Oh my god. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Maybe not. Maybe we have the ultimate plan, strategy, and tactics. I just need to get the target zone activated to have all of these guys go for the target zone instead of me. AC ten! Ooh, at least the AC ten missed. Good show on that one. We are putting it on our armor. Is this going to be another case where we basically throw a mech on top of the tile and it dies? Yeah. But it does manage to actually capture the zone. Oh, oh, can I get into the zone? Not if I want to be in cover. I can't. That's fine. Turn that thing on. The first zone is active. Uh, Commander, it looks like the locals aren't super pleased about what you're doing. Expect incoming fire any second now. Um... Hopefully not. That would be a problem. Grasshopper gonna turn around and actually engage us. Missed us with the lar- Ooh, missed us with everything. Lovely. Okay, so we will be able to get into cover. Oh, but it's a headshot. Really? Oh, God. No, not range bull. Not one of my best pilots. Ah, oh, you jerks. Sprint. <laughs> Sprint as fast as you can, darling, because you're gonna need it. Zoom. Hopefully I can hide from most of this, because that's just dangerous. Peace, can you touch base? Not- quite but you are in range to shoot more um do i shoot or do i run we shoot hi buddy um take a shot oh i'm loving the fact that he's in just terrible armor condition it is helping out a lot unfortunately that's the side that i don't care about that's two medium lasers who cares about two medium lasers if i could have hit the side with you know all of his cannons that would have been a good pickup Black Knight about to take some long range fire. It's going to dance all around him, but he is safe and sound, more or less. Once he gets into cover, we'll have a real good shot at this. Reach. Uh, Reach has a shot. Reach can get a shot at the Grasshopper, too. You don't say. Let's take some pressure off, please. Go for that head. Now let's see how you handle this. 
Oh, just lovely. Absolutely lovely. All right, so we've taken out your grasshopper with the greatest of ease. So now we've got basically half of them down. You're almost out of time. Quit dragging your feet and get those targeting relays locked down. Gee, I, I don't need you to tell me that. I really don't. I know I'm running out of time. We're very much aware. Alice going to tank the fire on the arm. Surviving and doing well. Next turn, we're going to touch base. We'll have two targets locked in. Okay, Blackjack swinging in forward. Just got to touch the lo location. Shadowhawk moving in forward. Opening fire on the Black Knight. This was expected. We knew the Black Knight was going to get totally lit up on this one, which was kind of the goal, actually. And I'm going to try and see if I can't use that as an advantage. Hadjaman, long range fire! Did manage to hit us in the leg. That is unfortunate. Luckily for us, the leg is still somewhat solid. Alrighty, so we need range ball. Get in cover. Position confirmed. Still in the zone, right? You are, okay. Take aim, and uh, yeah, it's just large laser lay down. One, two, three, four. Ooh, only one hit. That is unfortunate. I was hoping you'd probably break something, but that is not the case. So he is in cover, which gives him a lot more protection. I'm going to reserve to the bottom and hope that they just shoot everything towards the Black Knight, because the Black Knight can tank it. He's in cover. This is exactly the situation that he's built for. Well, not specific. Well, kind of, actually, yeah. Long-range fire support from a prepared position. Just continuing to lay down the lasers. That is what he does. They will be done. Uh, Reach can start walking on forward. Uh, Reach, if you don't mind, just pick him apart. Head. Fire. Back, Unfortunately, you missed with a 95% chance to hit weapon, which kind of sucks. And then you headshot with, you know, the... With something I didn't really care about. Yes, Alright, peace. Activate another zone. Aye, aye. So this is left, right? Okay, good. So we're actually protecting our leg fairly okay. I need to shut off a couple of lasers to keep our heat under control. Alright, so we've taken out... How many mechs? Three at this point? So that's taken care of. No problems over there. Readout can now touch base over there. And readout is going to do a jump. Because this will make readout as absolutely nimble as possible and facing towards the enemy. The readout is probably going to be hopping back and forth a couple of times over here. Uh, sure, why not shoot the Thunderbolt? I forgot, you had a large laser. That actually worked out quite nicely. <laughs> Did a good job of that. This is actually a fairly solid mech, I forgot. Bravo Beacon has been deployed. Blackjack is maneuvering for a shot on us. Oh, the Cataphract. Poor little Cataphract. It's a solid, tough little design, and a head hit. Oh, God darn it. I'm running out of pilots, man. You're gonna ha I have to field Casper now. Atlas going to tank a little bit of fire. The Atlas, of course, is designed with headshot protection in mind. He'll also be moving into co cover in the next round, and it just provides so much mobbing fire. I'm going to shoot that Hatcher, man. I'm going to shoot him good and dead. Stop shooting my mech. I need him not to die. It's kind of important to me. Range ball. Uh, Rage Bull can start walking forward, getting himself into range to provide some support. You've already gone, you haven't gone, you've gone, you haven't gone. So... How much armor do you got in the head? You have 38. You're a you're call shot master, aren't you? You are. Fire! <laughs> I just need one hit on the head. It did not happen, unfortunately. It would have been really fun if he did, because that would have saved us from having to deal with him. But it did not happen. Thunderbolt, gonna maneuver off to the side, not actually do anything. Which allows, not readout, it allows peace. Peace and quiet, and she will shift very slightly. So that she can face all of the oncoming mechs. Like a boss. Uh, heat vent at this point. Reuse coolant vent, give it a all our heat, amp up the medium lasers. Target me a Thunderbolt. Oh, just gorgeous, darling. That has saved us an entire round of being shot at. And now we can move on to, of course... Uh, you can't step off that base. You know that, right? I'm going to position myself right here. Oh, the heat is a problem, cool invent. The heat is... <laughs> Look at how boiling hot this mech is. Burn him down. Fire everything you've got. Oh, that was quite lovely, I will admit. I'm pretty amused at that one. Alright, Reach. Yeah, get in the cover. You're in cover? Lovely. Uh, kill me a hatchet man, because I worry about the hatchet man's hatchet. It hits like an AC-20. Okay, so you missed with the cannon, which kind of sucks. You're going to drop him down a heavy status, which I might be able to do something about. So on your back, please. 
So, falling over. Lovely. He's missed more shots than I'm pleased with. Looks like the big guns have a target lot, boss. The fireworks should begin any second now. Heads up, I'm seeing movement from the artillery emplacements. Looks like they're getting a lock on the target now. Shout out, cutie explosions any second now. I think he said now like five times and that sounds huge. Okay, so we've got to move. We've got to move quite quickly. Blackjack moving around. Gonna open fire on the Atlas. Lovely. That's exactly who you should be targeting at all times. Fire at the Atlas with all of his massive armor. We gotta run on out of here. So there is that. Hopefully there's not gonna be consecutive deployment. Otherwise I'm gonna be limited on a couple of mechs. Also a couple of pilots too. Read out. Give him the business. Nope, nope. I said give him the business. Yes, like so. Uh, you can shut off a single small laser to keep the heat under control because you are that boiling hot. Give him the punch. All right, LZ confirmed and secure, sir. We've got this one under control. Good jobs all around. Love the leg as well. Just for a little bit of added fun. That is exactly what this thing is designed to do. Punch everybody into the ground. Hatcher Man is going to stand up. Oh, shoot, no. Uh, please don't be close enough to actually hit me. Because you, you hurt a lot. I mean, your AC-10 also hurts a lot, but... Yeah, th that AC-10 is quite painful, actually. Like, fairly, very painful. Uh, but we can deal with it. Okay, lovely. So, Rangeable is going to start moving forward. Uh, we need to get to the AF point in two rounds, but I think I can kill everybody here. If I'm a little bit lucky, I can pull that off. Go for another precision strike. I want you to tear his head clean off. Cool event. Thank you. So we got that taken care of. Please tear his head off. I'd like to salvage most of this mech if it all possible. Oh, beautiful, thank you. Please don't blow up the rest of it. That's fine. As, as long as it was the pilot kill that was the thing that did it. All right, so peace. Peace can now move off the point. Peace is also boiling just a little bit. Um, next turn I can run. Because it'll give me like five turns to get out of here. Medium laser off, medium laser off. That puts me under heat control. You are you. You're a little bit tougher. Oh, wow, your legs are just incredibly vulnerable now. So there is that. Reach is not in punching range just yet, but he's about to be. Unfortunately, I don't think his heat can handle this. Oh, it can. Lovely. Um, not quite what I was looking for, if I'm completely honest. I mean, you blew off his arm, which... Who cares? Artillery fire will be here next turn, which is quite painful. Blackjack maneuvering into a position where I don't want to... Ooh, that's an arm hit. A penetrating one at that. I mean, there's nothing in the arm, so I don't really care, but... I will field this Atlas if it is a consecutive loadout. Because it doesn't matter. Please don't be another head hit. Okay, good. Uh, rageable. Yeah, keep keep the keep the movement on pace here. Precision strike. Cooking a little bit. Keeps that under control. Go for the headshot. You're gonna fire three times. Oh, and another one just gone. I love the fact that their armor is all in such terrible shape that I can do things like that. Yes, Commander. Uh, do you have a shot on anything? Not really. Um, it is a bit of a problem. You know what? Just just move back towards the evac zone. Roger. Make your life easier. Brace. And then peace. Peace is in punching range. I think that's a good idea. Affirmative. Give him the catafruct! Okay, that blew off his other arm, which, again, he does not care about. Reach is cooking more than a wee bit. And I can go for the punch. This will hurt him 140 damage. Yeah, get the heat under control. Okay, he's mostly dead. But mostly dead, as we all know, is slightly alive. And here comes the fire, baby. Target lock. That's no artillery gun, man. I don't know what that is, but that's not an artillery gun. Fire control, this is observer actual. Good effect on target. Targets destroyed. Now we gotta get out of here in four rounds. We can do it. I, I feel confident in that. Shadowhawk, does he have any guns? You do. Okay, that's unfortunate. Because you're hurting me. And I've got to run this Atlas every single turn for the next several rounds. Ready for order. And you too. Read out. Do you have a shot? Not really. You got a shot from nowhere, unfortunately. Commander. Range bolt. If I did this, I'd probably kill you. Peace. Peace. I need you to dig deep. Be awesome. Demonstrate a level of skill and precision that you have yet to show. That'll do it. 
Okay, so we've killed everybody. The entirety of the map has been cleared. Which is great. I mean, that's that gives you more payout, I believe. But we now gotta run everybody off this map in the next, basically, three turns. Which, while I feel pretty confident about the Black Knight, I am a little worried about... Well, about the Atlas. It is not very fast. It is quite slow. Alright, can we get you? Maybe. I've got one, two, maybe? Oh, this is gonna be tight. It's gonna be especially tight for the Cataphract. Sprint. I don't want to get too much in the way of that Atlas, unfortunately. Because if we do, then that'll end up blocking the Atlas. And sprint. Mostly through. Getting through that forest. I want to get everybody out of here this time. I don't want to leave anybody behind like we had to do the one time. We ended up ejecting the quick draw because it blew its leg off. And just, there was no way it would get home. This was quite a while ago. Oh, do you touch base already? Oh, that Atlas pushing it to the max. That's pilot skills right there. The plus 20% sprint. Oh, that's what that was. Peace. Oh, brace. Peace, can you make it? Get to the Leopard. And we're out of here. Lovely. So we did get a couple of penetrating hits. The Atlas's arm has been exposed. I don't know if the... The Cataphract is actually damaged or if it's just the armor gone. Well, that's done it. Assuming the info Hadley gave us was true, the fault containing the lost deck item should be cracked wide open now. Let's go see what we've got. Lovely. Mission successful. I do assume, of course, that Hadley got away. Like, I, I have to kind of believe that, unfortunately. Because I have an idea of how this story probably will end up going. Just because of the, like, the story flags are all over the place. Only a 10% increase if you kill everybody. Wow. That seems pretty rough. 12 days. 10 days. Jeez, that's gonna be really suck. But the max ended up being pretty solid. Alright, we got three parts, and we've got a grasshopper. Oh no, we've got four parts. So give me all the parts to that grasshopper, please. And probably the part to the hatchet man? Not a guarantee, though. Let's see, large lasers, nothing special about them. Plus accuracy, plus damage, medium lasers, not a big deal. Ooh, plus two hit events. That's a really good gyro. I'm gonna grab that. We'll drop a hatchet man. Oh, wait, actually, no, I need lighter mechs, don't I? Although I don't know what the limits of a light mech lance are. I'm dropping the hatchet man. If I get lucky, I'll get the two. That'll be great. But I'm I'm getting another heavy. If, it, if worse comes worse, I can sell it. And we got one of the Hatchetman parts. Okay, so we're one away from getting another Hatchetman. It would be nice if we got two, but that's dreaming. So dreams are fine, but you shouldn't exactly bet everything on them. And I knew what I was getting into when I rolled for that. If I wanted one of them, I should have gone for it. And I wanted the Grasshopper. Because, you know, Grasshoppers are big, solid mechs. We've proven what the one could do. He was able to spread across the map. Although we did, we're using a little bit of AI control just to make sure that he wasn't, well, assaulted at all once he actually made it there. And that worked out fairly nicely. I wonder how much longer this is going to be. I have said that each flashpoint is going to be its entire episode, so... Alrighty, Grasshopper's done. You can go into storage. And quite a lot of heavy mechs. The opportunist, three. Hi, Obert. Nandis. Man, I got some bad news. Like, really bad news. Hadley's gone. The cell's empty and nobody's seen the repair crew boss in more than an hour. They probably made their way to the nearest jump ship in Hans Davian's pleasy yacht by now. Son of a bitch, I knew we should have not listened to anything she had to say. How are we going to explain this to Lady Cunningham? Leave that to me. I figure I'll figure out some way to spin this that doesn't put our reputation completely down the drain. It won't be fun, but it'll work out fine. This won't be the, f this won't be the first time I've had to talk down an angry client. We're getting a message on the comms now, Commander. It's her, Hadley. She's addressed it to you. Put her on the view screen now. Hey, Commander Ma! You're probably pretty upset now, huh? No buried treasure, no captive Aisha to send off to the royal dungeons. Not a great day for you, huh? I empathize. I really do. Until about an hour ago, I was sitting in a jail cell. Anyway, I'm not leaving you this message to gloat. Well, maybe a little, but you did be a solid. Plus, you're heavily armed. Or I come from that counts for something. When you talk to Lady Cunningham, you can tell her that she that she'll find my accomplice passed out at First Prince Hans Davian's yacht, which will be moored at the coordinates I supply for you. One of the lifeboats will be missing, and I cleaned out the ship's vault, but otherwise his extremely valuable pleasure craft is completely intact. 
Lady Cunningham will be furious that I've escaped, make no mistake, but with luck, she'll be pissed at her repair crew, not at you. And to return and the return of the priceless dropship that they've probably written off by now should help settle the score for at least a couple of points. With that, I'm gonna get back to doing my own thing. Have a good life, Commander, one that hopefully doesn't revolve around putting an end to mine. I find it infuriating that she's getting away with this. Like any of it. At all! It was her it was in her interest to ditch the pleasure yacht, a ship that's too conspicuous to fence, and as long as she had it, there'd be a target on her head. She isn't doing us a favor, she's drafting us into cleaning up her mess. That's absolutely true, but it's also true that returning the yacht will work wonders for our rep with House Davian. We've probably given up on ever seeing it again. My advice? Let's all put this behind us and find another job. I'll be happy if we, ever have to, if we never have to think about Asia Hadley again. Roger that, Darius. Good luck smoothing things over with Lady Cunningham. Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna need it. Oh, loot box time for rare items! Come on, gas rifle, gas rifle, gas rifle! AC 20 plus damage. That, ooh, exchange is totally worth it. Perfectly. <laughs> I am perfectly satisfied with my care. Jeez, thank you. And the Federated Sons love us. Bless a million seabills. Oh, this loot box is great. 15% exchanger. Uh, the large laser is ignorable. Cicada, totally forgettable. The missile's terrible. But cockpit injury mod and an AC 20 plus. But this exchanger, man, 15% exchanger. <sighs> So good. Gotta find a mech to throw it into. Not sure which one. Maybe we'll build one around it. I mean, it is way three tons, so it's gonna take up a little bit of weight. But I have plans. Next. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with the way that one went down. Alrighty, so uh, we are good friends with House David at this point, which is really nice. And uh, we met an interesting character in the way of Miss Hadley. So I'm actually kind of perfectly satisfied to let her get free. I don't know anything about her, but she stole a royal yacht, which... You know, sticking it to nobles is pretty fun. And also, we're technically, our character is is from the Draconis Combine, so sticking it to the Davians any day of the week is a worthwhile endeavor. So, yeah, not terrible at all. We got ourselves on a brand new Exchanger and a fairly decent AC-20, which we can put into, you know, anything probably going to be in the Atlas. We kind of needs a little more fire support. And while we did get a bunch of pilots who are currently out for about two weeks, it's probably going to take us at least that long to travel on the next Flashpoint. So we got a good amount of cash, some really nice equipment, and nothing too badly damaged on that. I'm perfectly happy with that one, and I hope you are too. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. I have been Terak. If you like what you've been saying, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see a notification every time I some of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.